Hey there, how's it going? So I recently purchased a battery grip for the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, and I didn't purchase the Blackmagic Design battery grip because it was way too much money. I think they need to reduce the price of that, especially considering now they have competitors selling them for $70. So I bought this battery grip on eBay for $70, direct from China. Um, the brand is completely unknown to me, didn't really matter and it was a potential upgrade for the battery solution for this. I didn't really like trying to mount NPF batteries um, because it's it's so cumbersome, you, you have to put it on top, on the side, or behind it, or on the bottom, whatever. And as you can see, the form factor isn't so bad. It stands up a little bit awkwardly. Um, however, once you add some weight with the batteries, it seems to be just fine. I mean, by this point, this camera is fucking huge. I mean, look at this thing. But it does add a nice ergonomic feel to it. Um, holding a camera like this is something I'm really used to. I've used Canons with battery grips for years. But as you can see, the thing looks fine. It looks usable. And the best part about it is, it comes with slots for three Canon LPE6 batteries. Three of them. So if you get three of these Sony NPF STK 2600 uh, milliamp hour batteries, that's 7800 milliamp hours. That's awesome. So the grip comes in a really shitty looking box, as you can see. Uh, it looks like an old Band-Aid box from the 90s. Um, let's just see what's inside though. It's also from a company named MCO Plus. I don't know. So inside we actually get a power source with a USB-C cable on the side for the other side of the battery grip. And that is to charge the batteries on the inside, but you can't run the camera while it's charging. I already tested that. However, I didn't read the instructions. And this is saying that it will run the camera for three to nine hours. I don't think nine hours is gonna happen at all, but never know. And that's all you get. And you get the actual battery grip itself. Um, this thing feels like shit. Um, just listen to the quality of the plastic. It's like a cheap plastic ASMR video. Anyway, also one weird thing is that they decided to put the screw mount off to the side. As you can see, they decided to go off center. I think it's kind of strange they decided to put it right there. So I think with a cheese plate, you could make this thing work just fine. I mean, the reason they did that, I can see just by the design. Is when you open this up, they, in order to fit three of these in here, they needed to mount it, right, where's it, there you go. They needed to mount it right in between the uh, third battery. So it makes sense. So I was kind of skeptical, and I still am, because I really haven't had a chance to fully test it. Um, but it works. It works just fine. I have not taken it out in the field yet. I haven't had time to thoroughly test it. But I know that it does turn on, and I had it running for a solid 45 minutes uh, with little to no battery drain. Really impressed with it. So even though it feels like it's going to shatter in your fucking hands if you hold it the wrong way, Cords much more accurately than. Oh, shit. I still think for $70, this is an amazing purchase. And I want to recommend this to people who may have interest. I thought that when I was getting a $70 battery grip off eBay for the Pocket Cinema 4K, that it was going to be a big piece of shit. And in some ways, it is. But honestly, compared to the $250 price point of the Black Magic Design grip, this is a fucking steal. Let's compare it to my my little Canon EOS M. Right. And you are correct. That is a Christmas tree behind me and it is May.